Kiora, wet and windy weather back on towards parts of the South Island as we head through the rest of Wednesday night and through and towards the first part of Thursday morning. There are severe weather watches and warnings for rain on the western coast and for those stronger winds ahead of this front through parts of, say, Southland, Otago and warnings up through the Canterbury High Country. By the end of the day on Thursday and that day, we'll find that wetter weather moving up towards the North Island and some of those stronger winds around places that like the Cook Strait, so around Marlborough Sounds, Wellington and the Southern Wild Upper, worth keeping a close eye on the forecast there. But the severe weather watches and warnings are all on the South Island as we head through Thursday. We'll start off though by taking a look at the rainfall. With the winds pushing that rain in from the north and the west, it'll be places like Fjordland and the ranges of Westland that catch the heaviest of the rainfall. Now, in terms of uh, the rain we've seen in recent weeks, this is a much smaller amount, between about 70 to 90 millimetres of rainfall up about the ranges of Westland. Enough still to warrant a warning, but uh, not nearly to those higher levels. And it is a relatively short-lived affair, with the heaviest rainfall between about 4 in the morning on Thursday to about 2 p.m., so a wet-looking Anzac day for you. There's also a watch for that heavy rainfall down in the south there through Fjordland, again for that first part of the day on Thursday. Now, as well as that windy, uh, wet weather on the west coast, we've got some windy weather with these northwesterlies increasing as we head through the night time Wednesday into Thursday. The purple colours there showing the areas which are likely to find the strongest winds, with uh, winds perhaps reaching a severe gale or even uh, gusts of 120 kilometres an hour in the most exposed parts of, say, the Canterbury High Country. Again, as we head through Thursday. So some strong winds through there from about 2 a.m. on Thursday, right the way through till 6 p.m. We also find that those winds increasing through those southern parts of Fjordland and across into towards Southland and towards the southern lakes and the central parts of Otago. So there is a watch there for those severe winds as we head through the nighttime tonight, Wednesday, into the very early hours of Thursday morning. As we head through the rest of the day and in towards Friday, we'll find that front completely moves towards the north, but takes that wet weather away. And the winds behind it turn more southwesterly, a calmer, quieter look in towards the weekend, but with some colder nights to come. So keep an eye on those temperatures. That's it from me. There's more at metservice.com.